There's a real fear that either formally or informally, there will be disability discrimination when decisions are made over who to treat and who to say, sorry, we just don't have room for you. As Ontario's hospitals get stretched during waves of COVID-19, the chair of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance says he's worried the triage protocol delivered to hospitals last year could lead to people with disabilities not receiving care for a variety of health conditions. David Lepofsky telling us his group has written to the Minister of Health for a tenth time now, never having received a response. And if we reach the point where those beds are, too fu are, are full, the government has allowed hospitals to put in place and train their staffs to use, staffs to use a protocol to decide who's going to be told, uh, sorry, you can't have life-saving care, which means you're going to die. And those, that protocol is replete with disability discrimination. Can you talk a, a little bit about what, what some of that discrimination in the, uh, in the protocol is? Sure. If you have cancer and you need critical care for any reason, uh, they're going to look at how disabled you are. And if you have a significant disability that you can't uh, get out of bed or work for the day, during the day, um, you're going to get deprioritized. If you are over 65 and you have a progressive uh, disease like uh, Parkinson's uh, or multiple sclerosis or something like that, the protocol explains that the the score for whether you're going to get access to uh, critical care is going to be calculated in part based on whether you could do 11 activities of daily living, like getting out of bed or dressing yourself or shopping or doing your taxes. Do you have any uh, suggestions how, how they can go about that, uh, I, I guess, a, a triaging process without discriminating uh, against people who live with a disability? The first step we suggest uh, is that the government come clean and go public with exactly what the directions are to hospitals. We need a public accounting of how many people are dying per day because of triage, because they couldn't get health care services. Is this still something where you're, you're looking ahead at something that could become an issue, or are you starting to now hear from people who have a disability who are saying uh, that they're getting pushed out? Here's the problem. A lot of this is stuff that is hard to detect. You can't... A person who is told that the ambulance won't take them to the hospital, doesn't necessarily know why. The document detailing the triage protocol, which was previously leaked to the AODA Alliance, is now available on the group's website. We also have reached out to the Ministry of Health. For City News, I'm David Zura.